Okay, it's November 16th and uh, 36 degrees outside, so things are warming up a little bit. And uh, I'm way more excited about this than a grown man should be, but today I'm actually gonna get the car on all four wheels on the ground. I haven't seen it like that yet with the front suspension fixed. Um, the front suspension has been broken the entire time I've had it, so I'm actually gonna get to see what it looks like on the ground. It's not going to be completely accurate because all of the wheels are flat. This is what I'm working with. I do often fantasize about buying better wheels for it already, but uh, there's no money tree in the backyard. I already checked. It's fake. Close the garage door back in here. It's way too cold to have it open. In the last episode I was working on the suspension. I can't remember where that episode left off, but uh, I finished off the front suspension. Just to speed it up and for entertainment purposes, we're gonna watch that in super fast speed. So a lot of the loud banging I had to do, I was trying to do last night, was to get this lower control arm to drop out of the spindle. Um, I watched the video today, I forget what it was, but anyway. They said you actually bang here. That makes no sense to me, but that's what I'm gonna try. Um, I don't know what, what the mechanics are of whatever's going on in there, but we're gonna try banging on that. Blaster, and it's been soaking for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna try. I fell out. All I did was bump the. Wow, that's. <laughs> that PB Blaster is amazing. It's out. So I beat the snot out of the thing for a while, wouldn't come loose, sprayed it with PB Blaster, accidentally bumped the backing plate with the sledgehammer, and the lower control arm fell out. So that PB Blaster is amazing stuff. I cannot say enough good things about that. In order to get this bolt out here, I'm gonna have to. Um, I bought the cross member. This is where I'm hoping this impact wrench really pays off. Because this bolt looks pretty rusty to me. Yep. Amazing. quarter inch sockets. So I am hoping that this adjustable wrench will be able to hold on to that end of the bolt while I use the impact driver on the other side. So wish me luck here. Let's just open up snap my wrist. I just threw my socket across the rim. Thank God that didn't come back and hit me in the face. Round two on the upper control arm. Ah. I don't know if you guys can see this, but at this point I'm far more committed to not having the socket fly off and hit me in the face. Down for a minute and see if we can make something happen. Oh, that's gonna work just fine. Just like the new one bushing. That's what we were after. And we'll say the socket thing with this thing off. That's seriously, I could have lost a tooth over that. That thing came zipping off of that. So. Okay, we got everything off and we can now start reassembly, but this is the area I'm working in and this is the mess I have so I reach points where I just I got to get cleaned up before I Before I continue doing so much work, so I'm gonna take a minute Clean all this up and We'll start putting everything back together Low budget yet highly entertaining these are the new parts that are going in. There we go. Perfect. Our lock washer back on. It feels really good to be putting bolts back on as opposed to taking them off. Now. So, this comes up through like this. 
another bushing. And we go a washer. And we go the spacer. We put on. <laughs> this is tricky. Yeah. Washer. And then a bush. Do that right. Getting there. Okay, and all that craziness brings us to here, which is um, this is reassembled. Now it's still missing the brake shoes and the brake hardware, but uh, we'll fix that later. Um, got my first brake hose on, but uh, yeah, the suspension is wrapped up. Um, I still probably need to tighten this a little bit, but uh, that'll work for now. The new struts on and the new con lower control arm is on. So let's throw the back brakes back together and we'll get the wheels on this thing and drop it down. So something I'm confused about, and if someone could please answer this for me, is these brakes, all the brakes on this car do not have the little push pins that go in between the wheel cylinder and here. Um, these these parts of the shoes rest inside that. Um, in the manual, I don't think it shows them either, but in a lot of videos I see online, um, these Mustangs have that. So, not sure what's going on there. I'll have to look into it further to verify before I actually drive this thing, but if anybody wants to answer that, that would be great. I took the liberty of putting this brake drum back together off camera. I feel like you guys have seen enough of that stuff. So let's get the wheels on. And now that this front suspension is fixed, I'm excited to see how this thing sits. Even though the tires are flat, I have yet to see this thing sitting properly. So let's do it. Well, there she is. All four tires are flat, but you start to get an idea. And that front suspension looks pretty good. So, that's a victory.